this is not really my normal intro. Um, we're just jumping straight in. We found another secret soldier, so we're gonna fight him. Uh, I'm at super low health, so I am going to be uh, just uh, kind of chilling over here for now. I think I'm gonna get in there. Actually. That's okay. He hasn't even hit me yet, and he's already below half. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. But yeah, so we're gonna do this, but we've kind of changed our plans slightly. Oops. We're gonna do uh, some mining this episode. Or we can go on that sailing trip I was talking about. Yeah, or we can do the sailing trip. Uh, All right, and he'll go Darn. All right, well, that's okay though. Yep. So yeah. Um, do you want to do the sailing this episode? I mean, it would get us out of the Mistlands. We've been here for a little while. That's true. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. So, for my normal intro stuff, welcome back. This is Darius Tarana and Rave already. We're here on Rave Guard. I think it's funny that you call it Rave Guard. I've always called it Raveheim. That's true, yeah. Yeah, well, you and I have called it different things. One person actually asked, what is Raveguard on one of my videos? <laughs> I like my my house. It's slowly getting more and more decorated and cluttered with, like, stuff that we've looted. Nice. The last thing I added in was, uh, Diverger Tankard and, uh, one of the treasure chest from the Hilder quest. That's awesome. And then also a folding totem. Finally got one for decoration purposes again. Ready to sleep. Alright. I like having slightly different looks, and so I have a red hood now. I like having different looks too. And we're actually not going anywhere that requires us to be at full gear level right now. I totally swap back to my old armor. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be able to run again. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you just toss the Eider on, or find Eider on the ground, it also does that shooting out little balls of damage effect. Same thing that the Eider Refiner does. Alright, so you said... Uh, Yagluth? Yeah, I think Yagluth is the closest one. Fix my sword and stuff real quick. Actually, you know what? Mistlands 2 is gonna be the closest one. Or just Mistlands. Mistlands 2 is closer to the water, though. Do we have a permanent one for that, or no? Mistlands 2. Uh, no, no permanent portal. We don't have any permanent portals for the just doing our out in the world ones. Gotcha. This is one that I set up when I died like 40 times in an episode and finally gave up on wearing light armor. Oh yeah. This is where I was dying so much at most of the time. Oh, this is uh, where Dockholm is. Uh, it's to the east of us, I believe, yeah. Oh, and we have uh... another guy. Did you already find him? Yep. He's already trying to blow me up. I see him. Is that over the water, I think? Oh no, this is not Dockholm. Never mind. I think Dockholm is on this continent, but east of us. Gotcha. I can't remember if it's this continent or the other continent that has Dockholm.
Okay, I lost that. Oh, there he is. Very close. He does make some cool noises. Where is he? There he is. There's a seeker. I'm gonna die. Don't die. I'm still fighting Earl. Oh, he's just dropping ticks. This is not a good place to be fighting Earls or ticks. I think I found the area with your secret. I drowned. No, oh, no. Here's your dead diverter. Well, that went poorly. Indeed. <laughs> oh, hi, Seeger. Was it a one star Seeger by chance? Yep. Yeah. He just did his. Dropping out of the sky attack on me from behind. Jeez. Oh, and there's another regular seeker too. And I'm in light armor. And low stamina and health. Good luck. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> ah. I gotta get to capitalize on that. Ouch. Okay, regular seeker down. Killed me through my block. The Jarl didn't see me somehow. That's good. Oh yeah, I gotta remember I can't take falling damage. Stuff back, but I'm not equipped, and the one star is back on me. Ooh. Trying to get to you. No worries, I have about the same combat effect as we don't see how it is before. I hate when it's down. Blow me. Whew. Thank you. Okay. You have eyes on that Yarl? He's down near the water. I think we should just move. Uh, I had him nearly dead. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, he was like a quarter health. If we can snipe him. Or get the sneak attack on him. That'll basically finish him. Uh, I got another seeker. Thank you. Oh, he is close somewhere. There he is. He's behind us. No sneak attack. Fire. Stop and fix. So after you, I see this reflective one out. Alright, it's a tough area. 
is down. Any more text? I don't see any. I killed three. Okay, I think I killed one too. But I don't have the uh, bag from it. I have three bags. Okay, and there's probably one still alive somewhere. But that doesn't matter if we just leave. Do that. Do the water. Alright, go out of boat. How about facing out to the sea if you can? Is that a mountain that's just attached to the ocean there? That is what it looks like, which actually would make perfect sense. Yeah. So, in the north, there is the deep north, which is out oh, icebergs. Is uh just a gigantic ocean area, or not ocean, gigantic mountainous area. Why don't we go settle down, or set down a little, run through it? Yeah. This close enough to break the boat down? Looks like it. Okay, you break the boat down, I'm gonna keep it up on land as much as I can. I love the deep forest. It's a very pretty area. Seems very calm, too. Yeah? I have a feeling that'll change once we actually run into, like, enemies here, but... You won't run into enemies here. Oh, really? Yeah. This is a giant mountainous biome without a single enemy in it. Nothing spawns here. Now, is there you will find some mountains within the deep north. Some actual mountain okay. biomes. But yeah, <laughs> nothing spawns here. There's no rocks, there's no trees. It's just terrain. And snow. Uh, okay. And icebergs. And it's all very low level terrain too. There's a lot of water in this. I'm used to it being higher. Oh, whoa. That was cool. One of the icebergs just like jumped up out of the water. I think it just spawned in. Oh, it did. Dude. It spawned in on land. Oh, that's weird. Oh, and here's a rock. So maybe rocks do spawn in this area. Does uh, silver spawn here? Nope. I mean, I haven't ran through here extensively, and not since, like, my first or second world that I played in, but I don't remember finding any silver. But this place in its current state would be a fantastic place to build in, because there's the only enemies you'll find here are raids. It looks like there might be a few more islands out farther. But I say we go home, drop off all of our stuff, and grab a raft. Sounds good. Alright, let's go. I love how the raft is mostly underwater. Oh yeah, we've still got a distance to go. I don't think the world extends all the way out to the edge of the map. But it's been oh, a while okay. since I've been up this far. You must have like no view whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, I can see a sail. <laughs> yep. Especially if I zoom in. Yeah. You can always go stand on the front of the boat. That's true. We've never actually fallen off. I think there might be land in front of us though. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Land ho! Maybe it's just an island? I don't know. We'll see. Could you imagine actually crossing the ocean like this? Yeah, that would be awful. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it looks like there might be a way through, potentially. Uh, I don't think there is. 
Okay, well, maybe we turn around and cut this part out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're pushing the iceberg. Watch it, where we gotta sail fast. Whoa. <laughs> it was under the water. <laughs> it was. There we go. Yay. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it was. You were like swimming in the air on my screen. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, you were completely under the ocean on mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. A Leviathan. Wait, where? To the right. Like, straight in front of us to the right. Duh. That would be so horrifying to actually be on our little raft and sail up on this gigantic sea monster. I was like sitting here just like, oh, that's just an island. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you can do it. You know, this is a great example of how the wind is hitting us sideways and pushing the boat to the left. <laughs> we're drifting way left of where I was just aiming. Yeah. Man, when I go back through and edit this video, I should totally do like four times speed for that entire sailing on the raft trip. <laughs> and then it'll look like we're at normal speed. <laughs> yeah. It'll look like we're actually, you know, moving at yeah. all. <laughs> yep. A couple of flying fish over to our left. Yeah, I see that. Kind of wonder if we can just go pick them up out of the air. Uh, recognize those being cod. That pushed back onto the ground, it looked like. It has the pickup thing, but it's not letting me actually pick it up. Yeah, I see it too. That's too <laughs> bad. That would be a great way of going fishing. Right? It's like, ha. Ah. I liked the animation it did for yours because it just looked like a toddler, like, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. Oh, I just got a coral cod in my inventory. Oh. Can't see any more land out that way. Or anything that really looks closer off to the other side. Oh, did I put away the wood at some point? Oh, no, I did. three miles an hour instead of two. Yay! Alright, we are already through the edge of the world. See that kind of like darkest white or brightest white line? Oh yeah. Kind of curves across the horizon. That's the edge of the world. Okay. Nothing uh, yeah, but smooth sailing from here. So flat earthers are right. They just yeah. are in Valheim. Well, I'm proves that they're right. Yeah. There's not even an ice wall. It's just ice nope. fall. Yep. Okay. 
I'm curious where all the water falls out to, and how how we have an endless supply of water to fall off the side of the world. Um, giant drool. All right. Yeah. After we uh, start falling, you might want to look like back behind us, because you'll end up and you'll be able to see the waterfall falling down. Okay. But you can see the water is getting quicker. If yeah. we try turning around right now, we're probably caught in the up current for this boat that we won't be able to escape. That's crazy. Yeah. By this point, you can't even escape in the big boat. We're hitting something. I think it's just the waves. Alright, we're about to go off. Oh this my thing gosh. Like 30 seconds. Put your hands in the air. Woo! Woo! That's awesome. <laughs> if oh, you go dang into it, the... I forgot to put my armor in a chest. No, I'm kidding. 